Yo, what's the crap, boys? Sixers have done it again. They just love doing this. They're just proving once again that they're the worst franchise in the NBA right now. Possibly history. Like, they got to be the worst franchise that has won multiple, multiple championships. Because what, like, this is perfect, bro. Cursed franchise. Cursed star player. Loser star player. Loser franchise. Loser second star. Loser coach. Absolutely unreal. The Sixers blew a 3-2 lead. Doc Rivers blows another big lead. Probably like a 4-3-2 three, two, three, two lead blown. That, that's perfect, bro. Like, come on, retire at that point. You're, like, you're, not, you're not good. So yeah, Sixers, you know, 3-2 up. That was an amazing game five at Boston. Like, what, we were favourites to win NBA Finals at that moment? Bro, I thought we were going to win game six. I thought we were winning that series after that. Boston did not look good. Tatum, shout out Tatum. When the lights shine bright and the legacy game was on the line, Tatum showed up once again, unlike Harden and Embiid, who, bro, two losers, bro. Like, they're not built, like, they're clearly not built for, bro. Embiid's very, never been to the conference finals. Obviously, yeah, this is the only year where it's like, okay, the other years, it's been, okay, it's not, you know, he's been injured, blah, blah, blah. This year, bro, I don't care, like, bro, he was fine. He was literally fine. Loser, bro, complete loser. James Harden, bro, unless we get a new coach, I want, like, James Harden should never play for the Sixers again. He's, bro, he's, James Harden's the most pathetic superstar I've ever seen, bro. How do you have, like, don't get me wrong, we're not there game seven without James Harden, obviously. Obviously. He had those two huge games, had that huge clutch shot in, like, game four. Like, obviously, we didn't hear about Harden. But, bro, when the lights shine brightest, when you're practicing, all for this, bro. Just to have, like, nine points. Terrible shooting. His body, like, like bro, he looked clocked out. It's like he's like, right, I'm going to Houston or Phoenix. I mean, good luck if you go to Phoenix, bro. Big freeze clearly work. Big freeze and no death clearly work in the NBA. You know, go, go do that. If we get Chris Paul, I'm done with the Sixers, bro. Like, I'll obviously support him, but I'll have no attachment. <laughs> you know, MB. How are you going to be the MVP getting clamped up by Al Horford, who, if you play my league in 2K, he retires after this season, bro. How are you getting... How are you getting clamped up by someone that's almost retired? Oh, ain't no MVP, bro. That, like, nah. Obviously, he deserved MVP this year. Absolutely. That ain't no MVP, bro. Like, that ain't no MVP. He, like, he had the biggest point drop-off in an MVP ever. Perf pathetic, bro. It peaked. Well, he had that, you know, he dribbled up the ball, round full court, dunked the ball. I was like, when I was watching it, okay, he ain't letting us lose his game. This is Embiid's, this is Embiid's year to r run the playoffs. Nope. Choked, bro. Like it's it's crazy, it's absolutely unreal. Jokic is better, bro. I, I'll bias aside, not even bias, bro. I've see I see it now. Jokic is way better than Embiid. Jokic is the best center in the league. Jokic is a top three, top four player. Embiid's like six or seven. Harden, <laughs> I used to understand. Well, not really. I didn't really get when people were like, oh, Embiid's pointing fingers. You know, he threw Ben under the bus, whatever. But like Embiid. Embiid literally is a worse player in the playoffs. Embiid's a regular season. He's, bro, it's crazy. It's so ironic that him and Harden are, you know, a duo, bro. They both fall off in the playoffs. I know I'm like, bro, game game six, game five, I'm like loving these guys. But come on, bro, game seven, you're a professional NBA player. You're, these are two MVP players. You're on Mark's money, and you tell me you, you shit the bed. Perfect, bro. Get like, obviously, Doc's got a lot to blame. He's not the biggest blame. You can't really scapegoat him. But unless, like, bro, we got a couple options. Like I said, MB did throw, you know, he said, we, me and James can't win alone. Bro, for once, the role player stepped up. Tobias played somewhat, like, PJ Tucker had 11 points in the first quarter. Maxi was showing up. It was used that lost us the game. The leadership, obviously that big 30-point run in the third quarter. That's your job to get, like, ah, oh, perfect, bro. I, like, personally, obviously there's a lot of things, you know, a lot of ways we can go this offseason. You know, first one, fire Doc. Try bringing Monty Williams. You know, he was he was on our team. You know, back when, like, Jimmy Butler was there and that. Get him back. Keep Harden and Embiid. Because I generally think, like, Daryl Moore needs to go as well. For some reason, he hired Doc. Like, that's a, like... Bro, if we had a different coach, a better coach than Doc, I think we would be in the conference finals or the finals by now. Championship, maybe. You don't know. You can't really say that. But Doc is not... Like, Charlton doesn't want to play for him. Embiid, put, like, no one probably wants to play for him. And Darmore keeps, like, sticking by him. Like, Darmore needs to go. But if we can get a new coach in, take him beating Harden back, well, Harden back, sign him for one more year, I'd be happy to run it back. Happily, bro. Like, this duo, like, this duo can work for the right coach, right coach, and, like, Jeremy. You know I mean? Doc Rivers is not that coach. Doc Rivers is one of the most overrated, he's the overrated, most overrated coach ever. I haven't, like, he's, he's terrible. It wasn't, like, it's probably his best season he has for us. But, like, still, if we have a different coach, I believe we win this series. 
get Doc gone, you know, fix, you know, get Tobias gone. Do you know what I mean? All the, all the bar players on our team, you know, Milton, uh, Korkmaz, Montrose Howell, get them gone, so re-sign Parry, get, you know, make some good signings, run it back, and if we lose, rebuild. Or let Harden go, trade Tobias, like, I don't know. Or, like, it's either that first option or trade Embiid, let, let Harden walk, build around Maxi, get some picks. Like, Portland, I'm sure Dame would love to play with Embiid. Or, like, Golden State. There's a lot of trade options. But after that performance, like, I don't want to see Harden in the Sixers jersey. He's so unserious, bro. Yes, he got, like, like I said, big games. How many times did Harden have, like, under 10 points a season? Like, how, like Harden is just Ben Simmons. Smaller Ben Simmons, who can't play defense, but is a better offensive player. That's literally it. It's crazy. The Sixers are cursed. Embiid is cursed. Like, you, I honestly think, if I had to choose, rebuild, like, pr like whatever, bro. Who cares? We're back for five years. It's better than this. We may as well have a future to look forward to. It's like, it, like I love Embiid, bro. Embiid's my favorite Sixers of all time, but we're cursed. Like, oh, we're such a joke of a franchise, bro. How do we let Tatum and Brown fall out of our hands and they beat us so many times? Let Jimmy Butler walk. Like, bro, the conference finals is just the Sixers' failure. Look at, like, look in depth in that conference finals. It's just Sixers' failures. It's all related to the Sixers, bro. We're, we're trash. Like, if, Do if Doc returns, like, I have no idea what we'll do. It's, it's going to be exciting to see what happens. If Doc returns, I, I'm a fan of this team, but I will not care. I will not give a shit about this team, bro. If, like, Doc has to be. If he's back, Daryl Morey, like, get him gone, man. Obviously, like I said, I'd rather just rebuild. I'm I'm sick of this, bro. Like this was this was, this was supposed to be our year, like like realistically it was that third quarter, well that fourth quarter in Game Six where we could have run away with it. Obviously, Tatum stepped up. Ever since then, ever since that fourth quarter, Tatum's been amazing, showing that he's like actually a superstar. Harden falling over, look at like oh, bro. <sighs> this is this is unreal, bro. I can't believe this is our life, bro. This is absolutely unreal. And now we're stuck in contention we're stuck in the obviously you know we're not like the wizards we're not stuck in not good enough but not bad enough we're we're good enough but we're not hmm we're good enough but we're not proper like we're not championship good enough so our season just ends in disappointment that, that's what we're stuck in like obviously it's good to you know be well this was our most successful regular season most wins since the ai season it's like obviously this season was good this is probably the best season as a sixers fan but when it comes to playoffs bro, when it actually matters MB drops off, Harden drops like, like, pfft. so like something's got to happen, bro. Obviously, I'm, like I said, personally, I'm rebuilding the team. Maxi, give him that max contract. Get MB to Portland. Get that, get Portland's pick, or train him to Golden State. I don't know if I'd want Jordan Poole. I'd rather get that draft pick. The process is dead, bro. The process is over. Obviously, people are saying the process like I wouldn't say a failure, because the whole point of the process process was to you know, take a team that was bad and put them in contention with, you know, a star player or multiple star players. We had that. Like, it, that worked, but we couldn't win a championship. But then it's like, oh, we, fuck, we fucked ourselves. The Sixers are in a tough spot. I'll still support them no matter what, but like, oh. Whatever happens, bro, I can't believe we'd never won a championship in this time frame. You told me in 2018, we, like, Fast forward to 2023, we wouldn't win a championship, bro. I would be gobsmacked. Obviously, the root of the problem, you know, Elton Brand, like, our whole team needs to be chucked away. Elton Brand, I hate that guy. Daryl Morey, fuck him. Doc Rivers, unfortunate situation. It's not his fault, but it's his fault of being a bad coach, but he shouldn't even be on a contender anyway, so it's his fault. It's not his fault. Embiid, Harden, big losers, bro. Absolute losers. Hopefully, I hope MB. I like I like MB, but there's not much we can do this free agency, so we may as well just trade him. It's tough.